The Children's Christmas Program is one of our Savior Lutheran Church's favorite events. So in this most unique time, we had to come up with a way to safely share it with you. So sit back, take a deep breath, <sighs> relax, and enjoy our virtual Christmas program. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 55. About 2,000 years ago, in a pretty regular normal village called Nazareth, something incredible and unbelievable happened. There was a young couple named Mary and Joseph who were planning on getting married. Now, Joseph wasn't famous, but if you went back in his family tree 27 generations, you would find King David. That detail is pretty cool and pretty important. One day, and a day that seemed like any other day, the angel Gabriel visited Mary. He said to her, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Understandably, Mary was confused by all this, so Gabriel continued. He told Mary not to be afraid because God loved her. Don't be afraid. He told Mary that she was going to become a mom. She was going to have a baby boy and name him Jesus. Mary didn't understand how this could happen, since she and Joseph weren't married yet. Gabriel explained that God's Holy Spirit would take care of the impossible part, that her baby would be called the Son of God. To help convince Mary that the Holy Spirit could do such incredible things, Gabriel told Mary that her relative, Elizabeth, was also going to have a baby. This was extra special news because everyone thought that Elizabeth was not able to have a baby, but God had a different idea. According to Gabrielle, nothing will be impossible to God. Putting all her faith and trust in God, Mary agreed to the plan Gabrielle described. After Gabrielle left, Mary was probably overwhelmed, excited, and maybe even a little scared. Three incredible things just happened, and it was a lot to think about. First, an angel appeared. That alone was, was unimaginable. And then the angel told her that not only was her relative pregnant, but that she was too. Mary left Nazareth in a hurry to go visit Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's voice, the baby in Elizabeth's tummy jumped. In her excitement, Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and told Mary that she was blessed because God loved her and because she trusted that God would do what God promised. Mary responded to Elizabeth's greeting of love and blessing with a song. She sang about how God has done great things for her and how God showed mercy to those who respected and loved God. She sang about how God has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly and how God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. She ended her song holding on to the promise that God always keeps God's promises. A little while later, Mary went back home to Nazareth, which was in Galilee, in Israel. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. The angel Gabriel told Mary she was going to have a baby. She celebrated with her relative Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Joseph found out in a different way. Before they were married, Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby. He could have publicly shamed her, ruining her reputation and future, but he was a kind and decent man. Instead, he decided just to end their relationship quietly. Once he made this plan, that very night, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel, angel told Joseph to stay with Mary and that the baby was from the Holy Spirit the angel told him to name their baby Jesus and that the baby would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. God is with us. God is with us. God with us. When Joseph woke up, he and Mary got married. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. 
At the time when Mary and Elizabeth were excited about their pregnancies and Joseph was listening to angels in his dreams, there were pretty scary times in Israel. People from Rome had aggressively come into their country and decided they were in charge. Their leader from Rome, named Emperor Augustus, wanted an accurate count of how many people lived in Israel. Citizens had to be counted in the towns their families were from. Remember that King David was in Joseph's family tree? This meant that Joseph and Mary had to travel all the way from Nazareth to the city of Bethlehem, which was called the city of David. When the young couple was in Bethlehem, it was time for Mary to have her baby. Since many, many people were in town to be counted, there was no place for them to stay. So they had to rest with a lot of animals. <coughs> Say, moo. moo. Say it nice and loud and proud. Mary delivered her baby boy, wrapped him up with love and in bands of cloth, and she transformed the manger into a bed for baby Jesus. Nearby, outside the city gates, shepherds were tending to their sheep in the moonlight. <laughs> Suddenly, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel tried to calm their worry by assuring them there is no need to be afraid. Don't be afraid. The angel said, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you it is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. The shepherd's ears would have perked up at this. Not only was an angel talking to them, but the title savior was commonly used of the Roman emperor. To hear that a newborn baby was given this title, and not the violent person hurting their fellow Israelites, meant that this baby had to be someone special who would do things differently. The angel also told the shepherds where to find the baby and what the baby would be wearing. All of a sudden, the sky filled with angels who were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to those whom God loved. When the angels left, the shepherds were left standing there for a bit, amazed at what they had just saw. Then, with great excitement, they hurried into Bethlehem, and found the new mom and dad and their little baby. The shepherds shared with Mary and Joseph what the angel had said, how they saw the sky fill with angels, and how God said their baby would be the Messiah and Lord. Mary loved their story and held on to it in her heart, and the shepherds went back to work in the fields, praising God for all they had heard and seen. Portion, technically is not part of the Christmas story. The story of Epiphany has its own celebration. Epiphany is celebrated 12 days after Christmas. Because Epiphany is so close to Christmas and often gets pulled into the bigger story, so we'll include it here too. Plus, it's a really great story. After Jesus was born, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. The wise men have also been called magi, and they noticed and tracked patterns in the night sky. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they asked King Herod where they could find the king of the Jews because they saw his star at its rising and wanted to worship and honor the new king. Twinkle!
King Herod thought he was the king of the Jews. So he was very angry to hear that people were traveling from far away to see the new king. Herod called together Jewish teachers and worship leaders to ask them where this new Messiah was to be found. They told Herod that the baby was born in Bethlehem. Herod secretly called the wise men together to ask them about the star they had seen. Then he told them to go to Bethlehem to find the child. He asked them that once they were done vis visiting, to return home through Jerusalem so they could tell him where to find the child. That way he could go honor the new king. If that seemed suspicious, you'd be right. The wise men left King Herod's and followed the star until it stopped over the place where the child was. They were excited to find the house and to meet Mary and her little boy. They knelt down before him out of respect and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When they left, they were warned in a dream that Herod couldn't be trusted, so they headed back home traveling east and went home a different way. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our virtual program. A big round of applause, virtual that is, to all the families that worked so hard to help bring this story to life. We hope you're healthy and safe. Merry Christmas from our Savior's Lutheran Church. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the Hansons. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! The Costcolans wish you a, a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody! Hope you guys are doing well, and hope you enjoy this video.